Hi oh, YouTube, today we're going to be changing the standard AMD cooler for the Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition. Now this originally came out in 2007 in silver and black and there's been multiple iterations since. So let's open up the box and see what we have inside. Okay then, so inside the box we have this will be our accessory kit so we have all the mounting plates attachments fan cables you name it uh, there also are extra adapters here so if you want to have a two fan to so a push pull configuration you can do so and then we have the main piece itself move everything out of the way so there we go this is the current version um, obviously the black edition will have just a plain black fan this is the RGB one so on the fan we have the standard 4 pin PWM connector and the 4 pin RGB connector and just to bring the old one the original one into shot so you've got a bit of a comparison you can see that they are relatively the same design and relatively the same dimensions. Obviously, the new one now has a cap on the top to protect these copper ends, uh, but the general shape and design and the layer of the copper heat pipes are practically the same. Now, Steve from the Gamers Nexus, uh, he did a video on this back in 2022. Uh, basically saying this is the greatest and also the cheapest of all time and uh, yeah it's just been one of these go-to coolers that everybody goes to um, if they're on a budget because obviously it's cheap but it does the job and it's way way better than the stock cooler now talking of the stock cooler what we're going to do is we're just going to do a bit of a stress test on the processor that's in the system that this is going to go into, uh, which is a AMD Ryzen 7 5700X, which is an eight core 16 thread processor. So we're gonna run that for five minutes at full whack, uh, see what the maximum temperature is, and then obviously we'll put this one in and then uh, do the same again and see uh, what the difference is in the temperatures. Okay, so we're using CPU Z to stress the CPU. So that's running at 100% across all the cores. And as you can see on the left hand side, we've got CPU ID hardware monitor. And the peak temperature that we've hit uh, after running for about five minutes is 76.1 degrees C, which is perfectly fine for this processor. Uh, we're using the standard AMD Wraith Stealth Cooler. Now this is essentially just a chunk of aluminium with a fan on. Um, and it is rated for a TDP of 65 watts, which is exactly what this processor is. Uh, but the good thing about the, um, the Evo 212 is it is a bigger fan. With a bigger fan, you can move the same amount of air running at slower RPM, and slower RPM means a quieter fan. So what we're gonna do is we'll swap the cooler over and then we'll come back and uh, hopefully, everything will be cooler and the system will be quieter. Right then, so we've got the cooler installed and we've got the RGB header plugged into the motherboard instead of the included controller. Uh, the included controller does have a few push buttons and it is powered by Molex. Um, obviously this motherboard does have an RGB controller on, so obviously we've opted not to use this, but there is an option if you don't have a controller built on your motherboard. And the motherboard has defaulted to red, which is great because at the back we do have a static red fan anyway. Uh, that one's not RGB. So it goes with the color scheme, so that's great. And that's uh, saved so us having to mess about with extra settings. Um, straight off the bat, we can tell that this is a lot quieter than the standard AMD stock cooler. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give this another stress test and see what the temperatures are like. Okay, so we've run the test for about another five minutes, full stress, 100% on the processor, all eight cores at full whack, 
and we have just hit 57.1 degrees. So that is exactly 19 degrees cooler. And as we said in the last section, you can tell that this is a lot, lot quieter. So overall, for the money spent to have a quieter system and a cooler system by 19 degrees, it is definitely worth the buy. Okay, folks, so that is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition. If you wish to purchase one, there'll be a link in the description below where you can get one from Amazon if you wish to do so. And as usual, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know.